fucking full on. That's unbelievable. Like he can dive then? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> What's his name? Robert. Robert! Fucking, you know your last name. <laughs> What's his last name? Newbury? Fuck, he's a legend. And you're his brother. So fucking, you're a legend. <laughs> and I know you, so I'm a fucking legend. <laughs> You, are you a professional athlete? No, fuck that. <laughs> you get the t-shirts anyway. <laughs> you look fit though, have you ever been a personal trainer or anything like that? No, you haven't. Well, I have. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I've had personal trainership though, and those guys are bullshit, mate. I don't like them. I had this guy, I'd turn up to the gym and he would start just yelling at me. After a couple of sessions, I just cracked it. I said, mate, sit down. We need to have a chat this morning. We need to work this out. Who's paying who? I'm paying you. You lift the fucking weights, all right? They're heavy. Then get me a toasted sandwich and a newspaper. If you don't give any more lip, you can fucking go home early. Oh, that's bullshit. I'm not bloody going. That's crap. I mean, yeah, it's bullshit. Not happy with that. <laughs> but I am happy with that. I'll tell you what I am happy with though, because you really want to know. I'm happy with McDonald's and the changes they've made. <laughs> Aren't you happy? They made so many changes. They got so many new things on their menu. Oh fuck, I knew the new taste menu was gonna be great when the first thing they came out with was a ham, cheese and tomato toasted sandwich. <laughs> I thought you were on the cutting edge, McDonald's. <laughs> How did you come up with that combination? <laughs> what risk takers you are. The problem with that comment, the problem with that though, is they, on the TV ad to advertise the new taste menu, they explained too much. The Colonel wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Ronald said, yeah, you get two slices of toasted bread, cheese, tomato and ham. I was at home what, fucking writing it down. <laughs> now you show me how, I'll have a crack at me own. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a cardboard table and a breville maker and set up shop next to you bastards. <laughs> You're selling water at McDonald's now? Fuck, water. That's new. I'm not going to buy water. If I want water at McDonald's, I'll go into the toilet and lick it out of the fucking bowl. <laughs> I've possibly gone too far with that one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, one thing not happy about, I think the service at McDonald's has slowed down. They're not as quick as they used to be. They used to be... Do you work there or...? <laughs> Have I just hit a chord with you there? <laughs> Fuck, he's right. Someone had to say it. <laughs> yeah, I've got the courage. Um, no, I have <laughs> No, it's a true story though. I really want to tell you this true story. I was going to the drive-thru at McDonald's recently, all right? And I was obviously in a hurry. That's why I was going through the drive-thru. Hadn't it been in a hurry, I wouldn't have gone inside and enjoyed the ambience of the fucking restaurant, you know? <laughs> and I still eat fish, so I was pretty keen on a fillet of fish, all right? And I drove to the menu board and it had fillet of fish on there, and I thought, yeah, all right, I'll have a fillet of fish. And I drove forward to the woman with Madonna headset on, and I said, yeah, I'll have a fillet of fish, thanks, yeah, with a, with a, with a, um, I'll do the meal, yeah, with a, with a Diet Coke. This woman, I swear to God, said to me, there's going to be a four minute wait on the fries. I said, four minute wait on the fries? They should come with every meal. You should never have to wait for a fry at McDonald's. They should be in constant rotation. You made a basic air of this restaurant, wasting me fucking time. I should have stayed home and cooked a roast. <laughs> now, I didn't actually say that. <laughs> what I said, though, was very similar. I said, that's okay. <laughs> Where's my special parking bay? <laughs> and she pointed me in the direction of my special parking bay and I felt special. And I drove over there in a special mood because I'd entered a verbal contract with that woman, woman that woman, whatever. With, with that one woman that I would, I gave her the money in good faith. I gave her $5.25 on the understanding that four minutes later she would skip out with my fresh fillet of fish meal, including extra fresh fries. After four minutes, she broke that contract. I'm still in the car. No one skipped out. I didn't get a fucking a call to say they're going to be late. Got to six minutes, I'm still in the car. I'm starting to panic. I mean, it was getting late. I mean, fuck, 
they're going to shut up shops and I have to wait here all night and have a fucking bacon egg McMuffin meal in the morning. <laughs> Got to eight minutes, I'm still in the car, I'm starting to have hallucinations. I looked at him and I think I fucking see Ronald in there laughing at me. <laughs> I got to 10 minutes, I'm still in the car, no one had come out. I nearly had a brain aneurysm. I'm going to starve to death in this car. No one is helping me. And then I had a brain wave. Fuck, go in there. <laughs> I was so angry, I got out of the car fuming. I was walking, I was stomping across the car park, thinking what the fuck was the point of getting a license? <laughs> and then I, I opened the door of the restaurant and what I saw in there made me even angrier than I thought I possibly could have been. There was at least four staff wandering around. There were no customers. They were running around behind the counter in the bloody days while they just snorted eight apple pies up their fucking noses. <laughs> I looked over to the light heater thing. There was about 60,000 satchels of fries over there. Looked like they have been there since 1862. <laughs> fucking no one evil was even helped. They even didn't know. They saw me and didn't even come to the fucking counter. I went up the counter fuming. I said... Excuse me. <laughs> I feel that a fish meal going to be ready soon. She said, oh, I forgot about you. I said, that's okay. <laughs> she gave me the meal and I quite enjoyed it. That's the end of that story. I mean, it's a great story, but every story has to finish. And that one finished there. <laughs> But they shouldn't be going salads at McDonald's. It's bullshit. We don't want fresh at McDonald's. It's crap. KFC, I respect those people. Because they're not worrying about health, are they? No fucking way. They're going the other way. They're having a correct, direct contrast between them and every other bullshit fast food joint. Fucking they're going like, yeah, watch cricket and eat till you fucking die. Eh? <laughs> you know? Have the extreme death meal. Eat it all and then ride your BMX off a fucking bridge. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you want 15 twisters? Have them. Have 27 zingers. Have 88 fucking packets of mashies. We don't know what the fuck it is. How about that plastic chair? We'll put the batter in it. Take it home. <laughs> Eat it all. You're not going to get a root anyway. <laughs> I mean, I used to love KFC, I must admit, but for me it was a little bit like porn, you know? I mean, I mean it's good while you're doing it, but afterwards... <laughs> You feel dirty. <laughs> you know, I hope mum doesn't find out. And sometimes your hands are sticky. <laughs> it's okay if you've got your refresher towel. <laughs> Have we got any single guys in who know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, any single guys over here? Anyone? No one? No, no single guys here tonight? No? No one? Fuck, well done, guys. <laughs> There's so many hot chicks, you fair enough. <laughs> have you single mate or have you got a girlfriend? Oh, that's yep, you two are together. Yep, all right, beautiful, well done. Both of you, you're hot, good on you. How long have you been together, you two? About a year. Oh, how old are you, mate? 21, that's good. How old are you? 26. Oh, here we go. Bit of bloody toy boy action. Fuck it, they press down the back. <laughs> oh, mate, you're bloody, you're young and you're keen, aren't you? Yeah, and she's bloody probably giving it to you. No, what does... <laughs> Good luck to you, mate, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't get any action when I was your age. I didn't get any action. Oh, oh, it was tough for me when I was younger. So I got no romance at school whatsoever. Like, none. It's probably handy, I went to an all boys school, but still. <laughs> Would have been nice to have been asked. I mean, I'm sure they're regretting it now, seeing me on TV and thinking, you know, I could have had him. <laughs> you know what, I, what I, I was walking down bloody Rundle Mall on Friday afternoon and there was bloody schoolgirls there and they yelled out, we love you, Hughie. I yelled back, where were you 20 fucking years ago? <laughs> Not much I can do with you now, is there? I mean, I could become a teacher, but, uh... <laughs> I'm playing me. You're reading the stories. Every second week they're at it. And it's not just bloody male teachers, it's female teachers as well. 
They don't seem to get as hard a time as the male teachers, though. I think it's because of the lads. The, the lads don't seem to be as worried about it.